Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing and today we're going to talk about DHCP and how computers on the network get their IP addresses. Hi, my name is Emilio and I work in the IT industry and today we're talking about DHCP. So this is a service that is available across uh, multiple computers and different platforms. Essentially, the purpose of DHCP is to assign IP addresses to computers. So by default, you've got two types of IP addresses that you assign to computers. You've got a static, and you've got a dynamic. So static IP is an, an IP address that will never change. So you can go into your computer, whether if it's a Windows, a Mac, or a Linux computer, and you can set a static IP address. This is also true of other devices. So you know, if you've got um, computers at home that are not running those operating systems, or even other devices such as smart TVs, gaming consoles, um, you know, in, in a corporate environment, things like printers and servers, etc., you can set up these static IPs where you go in and put the IP address, and that will never change. A dynamic IP is generally an IP that will change over an amount of time. So whether that is set to you know change every 24 hours, every seven days, every you know two weeks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And a lot of the time, the dynamic IPs are are determined by your DHCP server. So quite simply, this is the way that it works. I've got a computer. This is a computer that does not have an IP address. So what this computer is going to go do is it needs to now try to find a computer on your network or a server or a device. It could be a server, it could be a router that is essentially dishing out IP addresses for your network. So this computer is going to send out a packet out onto your network. It will go everywhere out onto your network looking for some sort of service that is a DHC that is acting as a DHCP server. Once it finds it, let's say it's just found a server here. So this server is a DHCP a DHCP server, right? It could also be a router, but a router at home or in a business. This could also be acting as a DHCP. Server we'll call it. Okay, either of the two interconnecting, it'll be one or the other in most instances. And the computer will say, hey, look, I found a DHCP server. What will happen at that, at that stage is this server will essentially identify that this computer is now wanting an IP address. So the computer will send or will broadcast out a packet with its name and with its MAC address, the DHCP uh, service will say, yep, I am a DHCP server, I can give you an IP address, it acknowledges it, sends it back to the computer. The computer then says, great, I would like an IP address. So it makes a request, makes a request for an IP, and then our computer or our server here or our router will then go back to the computer and give it an IP address. So the IP will then be assigned to the computer along with any other relevant network information. So the DHCP server will also control things like the, the gateway IP, the DNS IPs, and any other sort of IPs that you may have. It can also do other things such as telling a computer what domain to trust, you know, if it's gonna be part of a particular domain on your network, whether if it's at home or in a corporate environment. So that is really the purpose of DHCP. It's going to broadcast IP addresses, it's going to dish out IP addresses out to computers and other devices, Internet of Things uh, devices out on a network in a home or in a corporate environment. In corporate environments, it's going to be a bit more of a complex setup. Most of the time, some sort of a DHCP server. In a home environment, a lot of the time, it's something like your home router or your modem that is acting as a DHCP server and that it will then allocate DHCP, well, IP addresses out to the devices on your network. On the DHCP servers, you can generally set things like the scope, you know, what IP range you want to start at, what IP range you want to end at, how long the lease should be, so how long should this computer 
hold the IP address. You know, for example, it could be 24 hours, and then after 24 hours, then this thing happens again, and then it'll give it a new IP address. You can also set things like you can lock IPs to computers or from your DHCP server as well if you do want to go down that route. So that is my rough overview of how DHCP works. I hope you found it helpful. Comment below if you did. I'd love, it to, I'd love to hear from you and what your thoughts are around this and we'll talk to you next time. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel Digital by Computing just on the button there for more videos.